Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I stand before you to uh, introduce a legend. In this 50th year of our commemorating the changes that took place, uh, changes that occurred because of grief and suffering of so many men and women and the loss of life of the four little girls in our community, uh, while it was a tragic year and tragic events, it sent out a, a, a heralding call to make changes, not just here in Birmingham, but throughout the South. This evening, I'd like to introduce one of the men who was at the forefront of the efforts to change the Jim Crow laws that held so many of our people back for so many years. Held as the Dean of the Civil Rights Movement upon the receipt of the NAACP's Life Achievement Award, Reverend Dr. Joseph Eccles Lowry has assumed and executed a broad and diverse series of roles over the span of his eight, decade, eight decades. Leader, pastor, preacher, servant, father, husband, freedom fighter, and advocate. One important milestone in his remarkable journey to, uh, took place on August 12, 2009, when President Barack Hussein Obama awarded him the nation's highest civilian honor, the Presidential Medal of Freedom. In recognition of his lifelong commitment to the nonviolent struggle for the cause of justice, human rights, economic equality, voting rights, peace, and human dignity, on January 20, 2009, Dr. Lowry delivered the benediction on the occasion of President Obama's inauguration as the 44th President of the United States. Born in Huntsville, Alabama, his legacy of service and struggle is long and rich. His genesis as a civil rights advocate dates to the early 1950s, where in Mobile, Alabama, he headed the Alabama Civic Affairs Association, the organization which led the movement to desegregate buses and public accommodations. In 1957, he became a co-founder of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. As president of SCLC, he negotiated covenants with major corporations for employment advances and business contracts with minority companies. In March 1965, he was chosen by Dr. King to chair the delegation delivering the demands of the Selma to Montgomery March to Alabama Governor George Wallace, later known as Bloody Sunday. In Birmingham, he served as president of the Interdenominational Ministerial Alliance, which spearheaded the hiring of the city's first 20 black police officers. Dr. Lowry, who co-chaired the 1990 Nelson Mandela visit to Atlanta following the president's release from prison and awarded Mandela the SCLC Martin Luther King Jr. Human Rights Award. In 1998, he was keynote speaker at the African Renaissance Dinner in Durban, South Africa, honoring Mandela's retirement. He led protests against the dumping of toxic waste in Warren County, North Carolina, where he was arrested twice, which gave birth to the environmental justice movement. Dr. Lowry has been awarded 12 honorary doctorates, including one from the University of Alabama, and he has been awarded numerous prestigious honors, including the Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Lifetime Courage Award and the NAACP Lifetime Achievement Award. Dr. Lowry is married to Evelyn Gibson Lowry, founder of SELC Women and an activist in her own right. He is the father of three children. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor and pleasure to introduce to you Reverend Dr. Joseph Eccles Lowry. Push it up, push it up. That, that, that's good, thank you. I give my nose, give my speech, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much.